Where you scream, don't watch that, watch this And I'll dive down through this hair reflection Hi and welcome to Watch This, I'm CJ Johnson, thanks very much for joining me I'm delighted to bring you a review of the excellent new film, I, Tonya The haters always say, Tonya, tell the truth Tonya, Tonya There's no such thing as truth Everyone has their own truth. In 1995, Nicole Kidman radically altered audience and industry perceptions of her with a perfect comedic performance in Gus Van Sant's film To Die For. Nicole Kidman was cursed, as it were, with this otherworldly beauty. And as Suzanne Stone in that movie, she announced herself as an actress, not just a movie star. There is no doubt in my mind that the similarly cursed Margot Robbie, who by all accounts is intelligently ambitious, had to die for in mind when setting up this very strategic and rather excellent vehicle. The two films share many qualities, although the approach to their heroines differs significantly. Working with Australian-made big-in Hollywood director Craig Gillespie, Robbie, as a producer on the film, had her hands all over the structure, tone, production and marketing of I, Tonya. It is a statement of intent. As Nicole Kidman is now doing with her professional partner Reese Witherspoon and Big Little Lies, Robbie is taking firm control of her career. I, Tonya tells the true story of Tonya Harding and her husband Jeff Galuli, Sebastian Stan, excellent, and all the events that led up to the physical assault on figure skating rival and off-ice friend Nancy Kerrigan. It is a broader biopic than you may be expecting, giving us an overview of Harding's girl and young adulthoods, particularly her relationship with her mother, played to the dizzy heights of dry perfection by Alison Janney. It is very, very funny, but also moving and very tough. Harding was physically abused by both mother and husband, and that abuse runs through the film like a snapping whip. Gillespie, Robbie et al. surprise us in other ways, including offering us staggering skating scenes. I expected to laugh and perhaps to feel uncomfortable, but I certainly wasn't expecting to be wowed by immaculate recreations of some of Harding's famous routines. That's the kind of movie this is, not the kind you think, to its absolute credit. 4.8. How do I get a fair shot here? We also judge on presentation. Suck my ah! 